Hi, I'm Amy Lishman. I'm Head of Member Engagement at Brighton Chamber. I'm here today with Vicky King. Hi. Uh, Vicky is Marketing Manager at Plus Accounting and one of our members. And today we're going to take a look at the new Chamber website and some of the awesome features that we have added in uh, for you as members. Um, so today is all about helping you make the most of the online services that the Chamber can offer. Firstly, we're going to have a look at the all new Chamber profile. Um, so we're going to head over to Vicky's uh, Plus Accounting's yeah. profile uh, to take a look at um, what exciting new features um, she's she's explored. Lucky for us, it looks pretty beautiful. Lovely. It's, uh, it's pretty good. The new features mainly uh, for the Chamber profile is that it's a media rich profile now. If I take you to the to the bottom of this profile, I can see that Vicky's added um, uh, one of their one of their videos um, and also some images that kind of really show show off Plus and the ethos and the values. Um, that you have in working with your clients. Mm -hmm. How have you found adding it and, and what's been the benefit for you? Yeah, it's just enabled us to kind of put more information on there for people mm. to see every aspect of us as a firm. It just opens us up to a wider audience and it yeah. just creates a nice looking profile yeah. um, with lots of different mediums and context. Yes. There's a bit of text um, as well on there where you've kind of said um, what, uh, what Plus can offer and how you can help businesses. So one of the things that I get asked quite a lot is for recommendations. The more information that's on that profile about what your what your specialisms are and, and how you can help businesses. Um, the, the better it is for pe anybody scanning, yeah. I guess, when they're being signposted to this this website. One of the other benefits of, of having um, a profile on the website is is links to your own website um, yeah. and, and social. We've included all of the links to our social channels, so that's mm -hmm. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn and it just gives people um, again a much deeper and richer understanding of who we are as a firm and who we would like to work with. Brilliant. Well, I have to say it is um, definitely a well updated um, and very beautiful profile. A bit of advice from me um, is, is just keep it updated yeah. as well. We've had some new kind of client photography actually so yeah. we might look to update some of the images um, yeah. over the next kind of yeah. few weeks and months. Yeah well the, um, the the back end of the profile and, and updating it as well is is so super um, super easy yeah. so it really doesn't take very very long at all. No, so, no, it's very um, easy yeah use. so my advice to, to you um, is to log into your chamber profile um, have a look go through the profile wizard if you haven't set it up already um, add as much information as you can um, to the site um, it really is your chance to um, show off who you are and what you do. One of the areas um, that we've developed as well is the Chamber Activity Hub. So mm -hmm. this is an interactive area of the website just for members where you can share what's happening in your business um, and have a browse of, of news, offers, events that are happening in the city. Just to find out what's happening with other Chamber members, there's a really great um, a dashboard here where you can see um, various promotions, um, news from other members. So that's um, a really good way of, of telling people what's happening in your business. We pick up on all of, all of those things as well and promote on, on social. You can also post your events. So as we know, Brighton is a very busy city with events um, and lots of our members run brilliant training, networking, learning events, all there to raise their profile. Um, and one of the benefits of membership is listing um, those events on our website. We use the events kind of portal the most really because we run quite an active workshop and surgery program and it just gives us an opportunity to highlight what events mm. we're hosting to a wider audience um, and we find that a number of our event attendees actually come via the Chamber Fantastic. website. So what kind of events can members put up onto the website? So all sorts of events, it's your chance to showcase um, what you're running um, but what we found um, works really well are things like um, drop-in surgeries that I know Plus Accounting do, yeah. um, also learning events, there's often music nights at different venues in Brighton posted on there, exhibitions from museums um, and also um, things that the university are doing such as festivals and, and stuff like that so it's really a one-stop shop for anything that's going on in Brighton. The calendar is brilliant and you can break it down by networking and learning and topical but there's also a brilliant page about all of our different types of events so that if you're not sure what event you should come along to what we've done is kind of listed all of our amazing events and and kind of broken it down and said why you should come. We do breakfasts, we do lunches, pop-up breakfasts that pop up around the city but also behind the scenes events as well. So it's a good kind of one-stop shop for you to see um, what kind of 
events you might want to attend yeah, um, and, and also what to expect at them because we know that coming along to networking events um, can can be slightly daunting yeah um, so if you kind of know what to expect you know it's going to be the right event for you you're really going to feel like you're getting value from your membership yeah, it so it gives you a good snapshot yeah, of what to expect. exactly yeah. another uh, feature that is brand new is our member hours um, so member hours are a chance to access free personalized help for your business um, across all sorts of topics uh, they're posted by our members um, and you can find advice from accountancy yep. to blogging all sorts of things adding and posting uh, one of these member hours on the website is a really great chance for people to experience and get a taster of what you offer people are more likely to be able to connect with you if you've kind of given them some some good quality advice um, beforehand so my advice to you now is to go on and browse um, and see whether there are any member hours that take your fancy if you've got any challenges in your business at the moment that you'd like some help with. Plus Accounting have got a member hour, so we offer a um, free one hour session for mm. people to come in and ask um, any questions on their accounting or personal tax um, queries. Um, and we find that if people can come in and speak to us for a free hour, mm. they can then get a feel as to whether we're the right fit for them and they're the right fit for us. So we yeah. find that using the member hours is yeah. beneficial. Do you think you would ever consider um, accessing one of those member hours for your job? Is there any particular challenge that you might think um, yeah, you want to explore one Yeah, of those so um, working within an accountancy firm, I'm obviously a marketing manager. So any kind of tips and guidance and advice I can get on marketing for, to professionals, yeah. that's always handy. So I do always keep an eye on the mem member hour. And we also um, direct our clients to the member hour. So within kind of our review meetings with clients, um, we direct them to the chamber and make them aware of the offers that are available to them if they become a member. And the next thing is that I want to show you is the Chamber blog. So the Chamber blog is a collection of curated content by the Chamber team, usually on useful information um, to help you in your business, so it might be top tips. But the blog is also um, a chance for members to contribute their content to the Chamber site. Sending us a blog is a really great way for you to share your expertise, but also um, have content on our site that's directing people to your own website as well. So again, good kind of um, search benefits um, and all kind of raising your profile. Vicky, have you ever contributed to a Chamber blog before? Um, we have previously as part of our sponsorship mm. of the high growth events mm. so we've kind of had a blog in conjunction with yeah. that um, but we haven't actually utilised the new kind of mm. blog function. When I get back to the office mm -hmm. what shall I do about getting a blog onto the website. If you want to send us a blog, um, you can send us um, no more than about 600 words. Mm -hmm. um, images work great um, as well on useful business information that's going to be relevant for businesses in Brighton. Um, practical takeaways and top tips work really well. Um, so anything that is unique as well, it needs to be unique content uh, so it doesn't mess with Google. We do a quick review um, and then upload that for you within a couple of days. We'll send you the link and then you can share it with whoever you want um, as well and hopefully um, yeah, see the benefits of, of increased kind of traffic to your, um, your site. And will you share the blog on your own social media? Yeah, so we, we include um, a link to our blogs in the newsletter that we send out every month oh, to okay. members, um, but we'll also do promotion around it on social. So look forward to receiving your blog. Lovely. Thanks, <laughs> so if you've got some exciting content to share, send us a blog um, and we'll, um, we'll get that live for you soon. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching um, and thank you so much to Vicky for coming in today. That's okay, thanks for having me. Get onto the website brightonchamber.co.uk and explore all the exciting new features um, and, and really make the most of your membership and see you soon. Bye! <laughs> Good promo for you innit? I know! <laughs> I'm like that, loving it! I was like, that's <laughs>